So hello, uh, my name is Adrian Richards, I'm the Surgical Director of Aurora Clinics and today I'm going to be talking about a particular form of facelift which is known as a MAX facelift. So that's capital M, capital A, capital C, capital S facelift. So what is a MAX facelift? What does it stand for? Well, MAX stands for a minimal access cranial suspension. So if I work through that one by one, minimal access means basically a short scar which is a scar which is just in the hairline here and in front of the ear rather than the traditional facelift scar which goes behind the ear. So minimal access means short scar without the element behind the ear. Cranial suspension really just means that the tissues of the face are secured by stitches. The deep tissues of the face where you won't see underneath the skin are held in their original positions, their youthful positions by uh, permanent stitches which are anchored to the um, uh, very firm tissue here in the temple and that's the cranial area so cranial suspension uh, really means anchoring these tissues to the firm tissue in the temple so that's minimal access short scar cranial suspension is uh, lifting and supporting the uh, deep tissues to the cranial tissues okay so who, wh where did this uh, technique come from and how does it vary from a normal facelift? Well, it was really described um, about 10 years ago in Belgium, by a group in Belgium, um, and uh, you know, it's become very popular, but only really for certain uh, uh, people and indications. And it tends to be used for slightly younger patients, normally between the age of 45 and 55. Um, and these are patients who have got some facial descent, but normally mid-facial, jowl descent. So the jowls are slightly uh, uh, descended, sorry, the, the, the cheek is slightly descended and the jowls are slightly descended, but importantly the neck is not too loose. Okay, so that's very important because what a max facelift does is essentially lift the uh, cheek and jowl areas up more vertically like this. So it restores the youthful contours to the lower eyelid, cheek and jowl areas. But the slight caveat is it doesn't really tighten the neck up that much. It has a slight effect on the neck, but if you have got excess tissue in the neck, it's not going to sort those out. And that's why it's principally used on patients with really quite early signs of uh, facial ageing, really from 45 to 55, because it's really from 55 onwards that the neck starts to become slightly loose. Okay, so what are the advantages of a max lift? Well, some of the advantages are minimal scarring. So the technique I use uses a short scar um, between the root of the ear in the sideburn area of the skin and then a further scar up into the hairline. The traditional max lift uses a scar which actually um, goes in the hairline up towards the temple. I don't do that because that can be very visible uh, when you uh, bring your hair uh, back. Um, so with the scars that I use, you'll be able to wear your hair uh, back uh, because you won't have that vertical scar in that area. You will also have a scar in front of the ear, uh, either going behind the nod nodule of the ear, the tragus uh, it's called, or in front of it, just depending on whether you have a natural fold in that area. And then the scar goes about a centimetre up behind the ear. So the advantages over a traditional facelift are that it's subtle. Uh, the facial ageing really sort of starts really from the age of, sort of 40 onwards. So it reverses those changes in a subtle, natural way rather than letting the, you know, waiting until you're slightly older and some of the changes are more uh, irreversible. So it's subtle, it will make you look brighter, fresher, and I generally tell my patients it will make you look approximately eight years younger than you do now, but in a subtle way. It can be combined with the eyelid surgery, but often um, uh, my patients just elect to uh, have a max facelift. Um, the recovery uh, period is much quicker um, than a traditional facelift, uh, and most of my patients are back to normal activities within approximately uh, 10 days. So in summary, I think the max facelift is a real uh, advantage for, for selected people, slightly younger uh, uh, people, got the first sort of signs of uh, facial uh, ageing and they're keen to uh, reverse this in a gentle, subtle way uh, with a relatively quick recovery period. Thank you very much for uh, watching the video. If you'd like any more information about Max facelifting 
or any other uh, surgical uh, uh, techniques, uh, please contact us either by the Aurora Clinic website, which is aurora-clinics.uk, or alternatively, you know, we'd like to speak to you in, in, in the office, uh, and you can contact us by ringing 01844 214 362. Thank you very much.